Let's get some wisdom from Proverbs chapter 17. A whack on the head of a fool. I love that title. A meal of bread and water in contented peace is better than a banquet spiced with quarrels. I would agree with that. A wise servant takes charge of an unruly child and is honored as one of the family. As silver in a crucible and gold in a pan, so are our lives assessed by God. Evil people relish malicious conversation and the ears of liars itch for dirty gossip. Whoever mocks poor people insults their creator, gloating over misfortune is a punishable crime. Old people are distinguished by grandchildren. Children take pride in their parents. We don't expect eloquence from fools, nor do we expect lies from our leaders. Receiving a gift is like getting a rare gemstone. Any way you look at it, you see beauty refracted. Overlook an offense and bond a friendship. Fasten on to a slight and goodbye friend. A quiet rebuke to a person of good sense does more than a whack on the head of a fool. Criminals, out looking for nothing but trouble, won't have long to wait. They'll meet it coming and going. Better to meet a grizzly robbed of her cubs than a fool hell-bent on folly. Those who return evil for good will meet their own evil returning. Verse 14. The start of a quarrel is like the leak in a dam, so stop it before it bursts. Whitewashing bad people and throwing mud on good people are equally abhorrent to God. What's this? Fools out shopping for wisdom? They won't recognize it if they saw it. One who knows much says little. Verse 17. Friends love through all kinds of weather and families stick together in all kinds of trouble. It's stupid to try to get something for nothing or run up huge bills you can never pay. Verse 19. The person who courts sin marries trouble. Build a wall, invite a burglar. A bad motive can't achieve a good end. Double talk brings you double trouble. Having a fool for a child is misery. It's no fun being the parent of a dolt. A cheerful disposition is good for your health. Gloom and doom leave you bone tired. The wicked take bribes under the table. They show nothing but contempt for justice. The perceptive find wisdom in their own front yard. Fools look for it everywhere, but right here. A surly, stupid child is sheer pain to a father, a bitter pill for a mother to swallow. It's wrong to penalize good behavior or make good citizens pay for the crimes of others. Verse 27, the one who knows much says little, an understanding person remains calm. Even dunces who keep quiet are thought to be wise as long as they keep their mouth shut, they're smart. I love that last line. These have been some really great words from Proverbs 17. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. You can contact me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com.